Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Akshita, a fourth year family student. Today I will be sharing some tips to read and remember the drug classification in the pharmacology subject. We study pharmacology subject for two years, pharmacology one in second year pharmacy and pharmacology two in the third year pharmacy. In pharmacology subject, we uh, study about the medicines concerned with their uh, users, mechanism of action, contraindication and the side effects. So here we come across many drug classification and obviously this remains a big task for students to read and remember all the drug classification. So in this video I will be sharing some tips which I have followed during my second and third year PharmD to remember all the drug classification. These all are the tips that help me to study effectively. First thing is the know the drug endings. For example, Ramipril. It ends with the uh, suffix called pril. So all the drugs ending with the pril are classified under the AC inhibitor class as they act on uh, heart, kidney. And next is the amlodipine. It ends uh, with the pine. So all the drugs with that ends with the pine are classified under the calcium channel blockers. And similarly, um, Metaprolol that ends with the olol. So all the drugs having uh, olol endings or suffix are classified under the beta blocker class for the same action and act on the heart, kidney and GI. Second tip is make up saying the drug names. This tip really helped me to remember the drug names easily. Uh, especially antihypertensive drug classification which I have studied in my second year of PharmD and I remember the classification till today. This happened only because uh, my sir used to make everyone to read the drug classification along with the drug names. So by repeatedly hearing and saying the drug names that made us to remember the drug names very easily. Next tip is the mnemonics. I followed this tip for only uh, some drug classification because what I feel is along with the drug uh, classification and drug names I have to remember the mnemonics as well so I did not feel much comfortable with the mnemonics. Yeah, but I used this uh, tip for uh, remembering some drug classification and Padmaja Uday Kumar has given uh, mnemonics for some drug classification. You can also refer from that. Next tip is study in group. We know that 2 is better than 1. So try to say the drug classification along with your friend. So if you miss any drug name in between, your friend may be knowing that. Or if your friend has missed any drug name in between, you may be knowing that. So practicing this thing will help you to know the which drug you are forgetting and by the second time of saying you will be remembering that uh, drug name which you have missed in the first time of saying. Next piece wall method. So write the drug names on a paper and stick on to the wall near your study table or anywhere where your attention will go more often. By pasting the uh, drug names on the wall what happens is, when the material is in front of you, you tend to look the more and more and automatically that stores in your brain even though if you are not actively looking into it. This also helps you during your final revision time. So these all are the study tips that I have followed to read and remember the drug classification in the pharmacology subject. Hope this video is helpful to you all. Uh, share my videos with your friends who like the content like these. And, uh, I come up with the more videos, uh, vlogs and also the education information. Keep your support for coming my videos. Video in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.